Oh my gosh, shit crazy YouTube. I'm back on this shit again. I almost, literally, bro, I almost died literally, like less than 12 hours ago. I just got in a crazy car crash. I just towed my fucking car. Now I'm gonna catch a flight to New York. We got good artillery on the head though. Good Anthony Riddle too to go with us. But this shit is crazy, bro. I'm back on YouTube again, low key. So we can see how this shit goes. I just fucking totaled my car before I flew out to New York. So we gotta see how this shit is gonna turn out. But we vlogging off the phone for this trip. I might get a camera halfway through. We're gonna see as the trip progresses. But fuck me, cause I'm trying to fuck with y'all. We back on this YouTube shit again. Spot. I'll leave all the spots when I start pulling up to them, but uh, one of them's called Philip William Posters. I'm gonna pull up to Toy Tokyo and then I'm gonna pull up to uh, Bowery Showroom. So I'm gonna pull up to those three places real quick. Um, I'll just vlog as I go on throughout the day. I ain't really been in a minute, bro, so I got to bear with me, but fuck it, I'll catch up in the next clip. So I just came out of a uh, Philip Williams poster store or whatever, and this is what I got. Um, I got this poster. Um, I think it's a movie showing in this fire ass building in like Texas or something. I don't remember specifically, but I know it's fire. And I got this old issue of Gold that they had with a cover of it. And I think altogether, I think I paid like thirty dollars or something like that. It wasn't too much. So it wasn't too expensive, copped it real quick, there's two posters, so I'm finna head to to Tokyo and Bowery right now, so we finna see, I'm finna hop in this Uber real quick after I smoke this spliff down real quick, I smoke this wood, and I'm gonna catch y'all when I get to the next clip. First stop was at the Philip Bloom poster spot that I was talking about. Um, and I got these two posters. I'm pretty sure I showed them in the clip also, but I wanted to show them to you guys in like in decent lighting. So I figured out this is actually an Esquire uh, poster. So I don't know too much about them, but I do know that they were showing this movie called uh, Easy Rider. Whenever this was, I guess, taken, and it says it's from August of 1970. So this is that Esquire poster that I got, and then I got this uh, Vogue cover from 1954, which is honestly fire, and it looks like it was, wow, this is hard. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like it was cut off a little bit at the end, but either way, I got both of these, I think for a combined total of like $30. And I'm gonna frame them and probably like throw them up in my room or whatever. So these were like pickup that I got. So for the next pickup, we low key got like a slick unboxing. Um, so I went to Toy Tokyo and they've got these. Uh, I don't know who's the name. I think it's Freenies. If I'm not, I hope I'm not butchering that. But he's got these like dissectable uh, Sesame Street characters or whatever. So I had seen one in the case and I grabbed it, not knowing that like they had a whole bunch in the boxes like these where I could just like basically get a whole bunch and then see which ones I could get. So I did open up one of these already because I was going to do an unboxing, but I wanted to know what I got for one of them. So I got a little bro right here who's kind of fire. I'll throw B-roll up for everything too, but I got him and he was, uh, he was 20 bucks. So they were both like 20 bucks each. So I'm about to open this one on camera for you guys, so you guys can be with me. And if the lighting just changed, the sun just went down a little bit in New York. So I'm gonna open this second one up on camera.
camera for you guys and let's see what I get. Okay, this is fire. So yeah, I just opened it and we got Elmo. This is fire, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about these. So I've got both of these now. I'm gonna throw them up in my room. I just wanted to get some fire decorations and like, these are hard bro, like they're half exoskeletons and this one's fucking Elmo. So I've got both of these. I've, I wanted to do the unboxing on camera for you guys. So, and if you guys ever want to, it's called Toy Tokyo. So you guys can pull up to New York and cop some shit. So these are the two little like collectible figures I got from over there. And let me go get that last thing I got. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Last clip, I said it was fun to go grab it. I'm not gonna go grab it. It's just a little kiss plush. I'll, like, pop a picture of it up on screen. Um, so, actually, after I went to the toy spot, after that, I ran to, um, I ran to Bowery Showroom, which is, like, this new New York spot, I guess, that opened up a little bit recently. It has some fire shit in there. They carry a bunch of, like, underground clothing brands and shit, or, like, a bunch of clothing brands that I've been following for years. So, I got to, like, see some of their pieces, like, in person. So, like, I got this fire-ass tee. And it says, uh, went to your hood and nobody knew you, which is from this brand that's like up north in Harlem, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, that's just called went to your hood. And I, like, I pulled up, I copped it, it was fire. Um, I think it ran me about like 50, 60 bucks for it. And then they had like some mood swing pins there. So I copped those. I don't know why I didn't bring them over here to show you guys, but I copped that too. There's obviously going to be B-roll of everything on camera. So I'm actually going to go flick up in this today. Um, by the time this comes out, the pictures will probably be out already by then, I would hope. But even after that, I got more pickups a little bit for you guys. I actually have a lot of pickups. I gotta do another video, because I didn't get into any of the clothes. I got a lot of new Raph, Kome, uh, I got a Stone Island piece. I got a couple of Anthony Riddle pieces. Um, I got uh, I got some more Ar Arcteryx. I got um, just a whole bunch of new clothes that I haven't shown you guys. But I wanna show you guys all the cool shit, or the shit I think is cool. So after that, I went to the bookstore. I got uh, these three Chainsaw Man mangas. I don't know if y'all watched Chainsaw Man. Oh yeah, I've been watching it because it's been coming out recently. But yeah, that shit's fire. Uh, I was already reading it before it came out and shit like that. So I went ahead and got three of the mangas because I wanted some. And the covers are fucking fire for them, of course. And then I went ahead and got a My Hero one because this is streaming right now too. I've been watching this since the first season about five, six years ago. Shit's fire, so. I went ahead and got the manga for this one because I think this, if I'm not mistaken, this is the arc they're on right now. That's that's Aaron, so that's fire. And then last for the books or the mangas, um, I got a Steins Gate, the complete manga. I've watched this show for the longest. It's like one of my favorite shows. It's about time travel and world lines and all types of shit. So I got the whole manga for it because um, it's just one of my favorite shows and I wanted to get it. So I grabbed like fucking all these mangas whenever I was out here too. And then, actually, I'll go grab the little shit I said I wasn't gonna grab before, just to show y'all. One second. So, here's that little kid statue I was talking about from before. Um, I think it was like 12 bucks. Yeah, it was 12 bucks. I haven't taken them out the package or anything yet. I'm gonna, like, throw them on my couch and shit whenever I get back. So, I haven't done anything with this yet. But this is the little kid's video I was talking about from before. Um, this is, these are uh, those mood swing pins I was talking about before that I got at Bowery. There's, like, a sticker. I think they're doing a couple. And shout out Barbie, like, wonderful staff. They're lovely people over there, bro. Like, they treated me, like, with love. They're, they're, they're cool as fuck over there. I'm not gonna lie. So shout out them for, like, good customer service and shit. Because, like, some companies don't be like that. Or some stores don't be like that. So those are the moves from pins. And actually, like, if you peep at the bottom, they say Barbie showroom. So I think they're, like, specifically for their, like, little spot or whatever. And then the last thing I got was actually, like, at one of those little, like, not flea markets, but you know where everybody like sells a whole bunch of shit in New York at. Um, I got this like fire pen. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll also um, I'll put like some B-roll in or like yeah, of course there's always gonna be a B-roll, but I'll put like some up close pictures of the pen in. But it's actually really fire. Um, it's rose gold. It's probably gonna tarnish since it was like ten bucks. But I just like like the design of it for what it is. So I went ahead and copped it anyways because why not? So that actually concludes just about all the pickups. Um, I've got a whole bunch of clothing pickups that I gotta give to you guys in another video, but I kinda just wanted to like make this video just because like I did say I was gonna come back to YouTube. I capped so many times, but here we are now and I'm really motivated to be on this shit. So like I'm gonna try and just give y'all videos like just about like 
I'm not gonna put a time limit on it, but we could say like two weeks, every two weeks. I'm gonna just try and like get good pickups for you guys, show you guys clothing that I get, that I like. And then like what I do between like the brand, 3D design and stuff, like commissions for clients, just about like everything I do like creatively and online. So thank you for tapping into the video. Thank you to everybody that's been showing me love. It's been a long journey. I stopped for two years, but I'm back now. And I swear I'm gonna keep going. So thank you, shout out to y'all. Like I love y'all. Y'all already know what it is, y'all my hearts. Like y'all keep me motivated to keep doing this shit. All the people that spammed my DMs about coming back on YouTube, like bro, why haven't you dropped the video? All the comments, like bro, no more. Like thank you.